Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you with another video and I bet you are wondering why I have these little turds here right now. These are actually parakeet fish. They, they spawn very deep in the ocean and you have to bring them up to the surface from what I have seen. Sometimes they spawn under the map, which is a real pain in the butt. So you gotta, you know, be careful about that. But what you have to do, and this is actually the only way to tame the giant death turtle. You have to bring these things to the surface, and then after you do that, you have to aggro them over to... Well, don't go high, apparently, because they, you know, die. Nope, we're good. Okay, they were just like, you know... Come on. Come on, swarm. Come on. They, like, go out of the water, kind of, but not really. So they're following me, and you basically have to bring them while swimming next to him, next to a turtle... Now, I have a 150 turtle over here. This takes a long time. This is not a slow process. And you have to defend the turtle the entire time you're doing this. So this is not something that's easy. Um, there, I guess, in my opinion, this is going to be something that's very difficult. It's going to take a lot of time. And you're going to need to find some extra swarms unless this one swarm does the trick, which I don't know if I believe that'll happen. We can see, I suppose. Oh my goodness, come on. And it's so hard to swim under this water, especially when you've got movement speed cranked up. Come on. Come on, target me, Swarm. Oh my goodness, this is so frustrating. Now, all I gotta do is get close enough to this turtle to actually pull this Swarm into them. Yes, they do damage to you. It's a very small amount of damage, similar to the Blade Wasp, which is just annoying. Um, not really something that causes true damage, just a pain in the butt. Now... Now that I am targeted by them, you'll notice that... Uh, what the heck were they just... They split off. Oh, here we go. Okay, so... And here's the negative side of things. I'm going to cheat a little bit in this regard because... In order to actually successfully do this tame... What you have to do is you have to kill everything nearby. And it's just really difficult to do that. Because if it hits him even one time... It's over. You, you lose, so it's kind of crazy how that works. Um, and, well, first off, look at this guy's stats. This is just ridiculous. And as long as you're swimming nearby him while these parakeet fish are kind of like attacking him, I suppose, if you want to call it that, um, he is taming. So it's a, it's a very slow process. I have this on a very quick modifier. However, from what I have heard, this is um, something that Genesis dinos don't, don't take modifications Okay, stay away, Megalodons. I don't need this right now. So this is actually about how long it's going to take you in order to do this. The hardest part, again, is finding this little fish swarm. Because notice how they're no longer on me. They're actually trying to, like, attack him, but it doesn't bother him because he seems to want to eat them or something. I don't really know how it works because they have just totally lost interest in me. And as long as I am nearby this dude bringing this parakeet swish, uh, fish swarm to him, he's taming. I mean, look at this. 5% already at a 150 are you kidding me? This thing is going to be so OP. Um, he'll swim around, and all you got to do is protect him. I would really encourage you to be the aggressor in this case. You see anything, piranhas, uh, eels, everything. Use a crossbow, kill it from a distance. If you do aggro it to you, make sure you've got a pike as a backup thing, because this is a long, long, long process. This is not a slow process. I mean... I guess it's not bad since we started this video. I'm already at 6%. The hardest part is just preventing him from seeing anything. So that's kind of like the hard part, I suppose. And I'm just literally going to shred everything, including Mantis. I don't care. Come here. There. Problem solved. Um, there we go. Okay. So I'm still swimming nearby, so you'll notice that he is still taking that increased taming effectiveness this is just a brill i love this method this is i mean i did not know about this yesterday yes you can kind of glitch it with honey yes you can knock him out and tame him but this kind of gives lower level people a chance to tame some of these just godly tames that's a, the best thing i can come up with because if you're willing to swim near him and just be careful this is not that bad you just got to find the parrot fish that's really the hardest part of this entire thing um, you can usually find them down deep. I will, uh, I mean, they, they do exist all over the place. A lot of people are like, oh, there's only probably one or two on the map. I actually pulled out the S plus locator in order to determine where they were. They cover the entire map. It's something that, uh, 
It's not that difficult. You can easily do this. I promise. It's something you just have to find the two things. I would say the most hard thing to find is the parrotfish swarm. I would find the parrotfish swarm and then I would bring them to a mega, uh, mega, mega shallon, whatever you want to call it. And it's just a passive tame. I mean, you literally have to do nothing except swim near him. And if you're running out of oxygen, boop, go near his bubbles. And you just get your oxygen back. So you can literally just like swim under the water. And as long as you're killing things nearby, you are good to go. I mean, I'm at 11%. That's a 100% taming effectiveness. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. So anyways, I'll kind of like super speed it through this entire thing. So you see that I actually succeed. This is not like a, a fake thing. This is faux reals. And uh, you just let him, I know it says that those are the things that he likes to eat, but that's only when you knock him out. So honey, mutton, prime meat, lamb chop. If you could actually, you know, one way that I'm thinking about you could do this, if you got a trap ready for a mega shallon and trapped him and then brought the parrotfish swarm to him, you could definitely tame him that way. That would definitely work as well. Just make a trap for him. And I'll come up with a few designs for that, but for right now, this is actually the legit way to tame the Mega Shallon. I do not know who found out about this. I have a, uh, a sub, I won't mention their name because they told me they didn't want me to mention their name, but I will at least give them this sort of acknowledgement. That they are the ones that are like, yo, this is how you do it. It's just like been found out late last night, and I was like, really? There's no way. So naturally, I started trying this, and this is the first time I've done it. I'm amazed that it's actually working. So, anyways, I guess I can fast forward to the point where he actually tames, because it's going to be a little bit. But, I mean, a 150, already 15%, this is not that difficult. Again, the only hard thing, killing the stuff nearby. Alright, well, I'll bring you back when he is, uh, done. Alright guys, so I did end up taming one. I got bored of the 150, because it was taking for literal ever. I'm also going to try something. So I went ahead and pulled these guys to the lowest turtle I could find. I wonder if I can pull this microbe swarm to this turtle. I think I might be able to. We're going to see. I am very curious on this. Now the only negative behind this is um, you're going to notice that these saber tooth salmon, literally everything wants to attack your turtle, which really kind of sucks, obviously. And I don't really have a way to, like, cut these guys off. I'm a little bit curious. Come on, bud. Hmm. Oh, have they aggroed to the other one? They might have aggroed to the other one. Oh, he wants my turtle. How, how rude. Hmm. The parrotfish are attacking my mega shallon. Oh, are they going after this one? I think... No, they're not. Okay. Well... Anyways, this is not going to be an easy process. I'll just tell you that ahead of time. It's something that's going to be a pain in the butt, um, but it's worth it. That's how you tame them right there. You just use the parrotfish. It takes some time. I would recommend two or three guys doing this, but you only really need one. Um, and that's literally how you... It, it's that easy. This is a level four that turned into a level six. And uh, that's all you got to do. It, it, it's that it, I wish I I mean I did not think it would be it's kind of fun though I mean I've never seen that's a unique style of taming that's for sure and uh, as long as you have two or three guys one guy kind of sticks nearby you can use a grapple hook to hold on to it you can kind of just have one guy if you kind of sit on its shell like up here I did this for about 20 minutes and uh, you kind of get latched in here and that works pretty well you can also sometimes get up on these corners right next to him and that holds you pretty well or when he's on the surface you can just stand on a shell and that works too so Kind of a fun little tame, but that is how you tame yourself a Mega Shallon using the passive taming trick. You have to kill all nearby Sabertooth Salmon, by the way. You have to kill sharks. You have to kill eels. There's a lot of stuff you have to kill in case you're curious. And that's how you tame these guys. All right. Well, hopefully this helps you out. And I hope you go tame yourself one. And let me know what you guys are doing with the uh, Mega Shallons once you tame them. All right. Teach out.